morning. A lot of that rattling you hear is metal. I am on my way over to Vancouver. It's super early in the morning. It's 5.20. I'm taking this metal over with me to the guys who do the laser cutting of my uh, Jeep kitchens for me. And because they have a recycling bin, these are a couple old, old prototypes of the Jeep kitchen. And they're just sitting in my garage rusting. And well, one of them's rusting because it was not made out of great steel as a prototype. Um, and I'm going to pick up a couple new ones, meet a couple people in Vancouver. That's what I'm doing. Man, is it early? Cool. 5 a.m. is early. try and sleep because it's 541 the ferry doesn't come until uh, seven doesn't leave until seven but I always get here early to make sure I can get on without a reservation and when you go last minute you can't reserve within 24 hours anyway so I'm gonna sleep I guess that'll be pretty useless today. All right, I totally didn't take you guys in there with me, but I picked up some Jeep kitchens. This is all the kitchens here. Lots of parts, which is kind of cool. There's like all the stainless parts. So now I got those. I'm gonna head off to Langley because I gotta look at a, see if I can find this laser cutter place in Langley. All right, another boring rainy drive to Langley. Not gonna bore you with it. We 
just stopped at a Starbucks. I'm going to sit down. I've got a little bit of editing left to do on yesterday's vlog. And I'm going to have a coffee. And then I'm going to go look at the laser plates. I use the one company for that has laser cutters for my Jeep kitchen stuff because it has to cut stainless and it has to be really good laser cutting. So um, I outsource the laser cutting part, which is all these parts I've picked up now. But for what Trace's project is, we're going to look at... Uh, a little bit different style of laser cutter that might potentially work really well for her and just kind of source out what the costs are. So that's my other job while I'm over here today and then I gotta meet a couple people and then I gotta head back home for TikToking stuff and then I gotta head back home. Super interesting uh, laser cutters are rad. It makes me want to have one just to play with. That is the laser cutting place done now I gotta head downtown to a couple meetings. <sighs> Exciting times. Finished up my meetings. I've done everything I need to do in Vancouver. I'm exporting a vlog while I drive right now. I have a love of men constructed things, I think. I have two great loves. I love amazing bridges. Bridges are so fun and fascinating and they're such a little feat of science and just always have such a practical purpose, but some of them look so amazing that you just kind of gotta go, wow, that's an amazing bridge. I love that stuff. I love the engineering behind it. I love all that stuff. The other thing I really, really, really love is a good tunnel. So enjoy this. I finished that way too early because I'm not quite at the tunnel yet. I, I tried to time it so that I could say that and then turn the camera around, but that didn't work. So now we just have this really awkward moment where we're arriving at the tunnel still. Is a good tunnel, because it feels like you're going into the future. So if you like tunnels, here, enjoy this. on a Star Wars ship and I'm about to shoot out of the mothership in the little fighter and, and go. Just like... Oh, Victoria, please. Just one person? Yep. Any you Nope. Great, thank you so much. Well, I mean... Technically, I have gas cans on the back, but they're empty. Looks like I'm on the five o'clock ferry, which means I'll be on the other side by seven, and I'll be home by 7.30. That's what a day like today is, just driving around, getting stuff done, waiting for ferries. All right, for any of you guys who haven't been to Victoria, this is the only way to get here with your car, which is by ferry. You can fly in, of course, you can always rent a car, but this is the only way here is an hour and 45 minute ferry ride. I think I'm gonna sleep. Or I'm gonna go walk around. I don't know. I just realized that I have been sitting on my butt all day, driving, getting out and grabbing a few things. No walking. Tyler has walked all over town to and from school and all kinds of stuff, so he's probably miles ahead of me in our step race right now. It's only three days to challenge who can do the most in three days. So I'm just going to go and walk circles around the ferry to catch up on my steps. <laughs> between the ladies washroom and the guys washroom on this level. Okay, ready? 
Look at all of those stalls right there. There's two rows of stalls. That's the ladies' washroom. There's the men's washroom. Even if we count urinals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's only eight. There's 24 on that level. So you might say to yourself, where's, there might be on another level, an equivalent. Oh no, look, that's the only guy's washroom on this one, other than, oh look, another ladies one right here. And look, another ladies one here, with double the size. So then you go up a level, and you've got the same thing. Look, there's the men's washroom, two, three, four. There's the ladies' washroom, all those. Look, ladies, men. That's just a washroom. I don't even know if that, what that is. Quite the discrepancy. Back, getting some steps in. steps in but now it's time to get off the ferry and go see. I don't think he's synced his band yet because his number doesn't change all day. Love these buttons. It's like going into an airlock. It's awesome. It's so tight through there. Tyler's kicked my butt again today. Dang it! Dang up you child! Coming for you, Tyler. <laughs>